Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bright and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. And today I have a pretty exciting video. If you already saw the title, you already know what it is. But I went to my local Salvation Army and I found a jewelry bag. And not just any jewelry bag, I found a $15 jewelry bag. Um, I was pretty excited. I bought it strictly off this bird. Um, when I got home, I did realize it is cracked right here. So I'm not sure if that happened in transport or if it was cracked before it was put in the bag. But it is broken. Um, but I just saw a couple, like, interesting things in here I thought I would take a gamble on. Um, yeah, I... Just a lot of really cool, interesting things in here. And at $15, this was a no-brainer. Um, so, yeah. Let's get started. I have not opened it yet. This is going to be a true unboxing. In my local... And, of course, they start this right before I leave for my trip. <laughs> but they said they're going to start putting them out more regularly. Um, the guys said they did not make this. But these were sent to them from their headquarters or wherever they get their um, merchandise from. But he said um, that they said that they will be getting more. Um, they had two. I left one behind because it was all beads. It was all beaded junky necklaces and like ropey type necklaces that I did not want I did not feel like paying $15 for a bunch of plastic beads. If they were glass beads, I would have done it. Just so I could have crafted with them, but... Yeah. I don't really do a whole lot with plastic beaded beads. Beaded beads. Um, but yeah, this was $15. So, let's start. Let's pull out the first thing. We have a stretch bracelet. It's missing one of its pieces. So, let's craft. We have a flip-flop charm. It's probably a little um, mood, probably, thing. Nice little trademark, but I doubt it, but maybe. Um, this is a hair clip. So, not sure why this is in here. <laughs> but, okay. Okay, we have a shell. Looks like a, came, a pendant that came off of a um, necklace. So we have a dyed shell pendant. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, this is broken. Guys, if you haven't watched my collab video with Zoila and Nick, um, aka Love and Founds, Make sure to go and watch that video. Um, I am recording these. I have to record like six videos um, for when I am gone in Michigan. So, um, not sure what my last video is. This could be gold. I don't think it is though, but it could be. I don't think it is. But this sure does look like silver. Let's see what it's marked. Nine, two, five. Awesome. We already have silver. We already have a little silver earring. Hopefully we get the match. That is mark nine, two, five. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it is mark nine, two, five. So awesome. We'll put that off to the side. This is craft. That's maybe. This is cell. Okay. Silver. Um... Yeah, so who knows how these videos are going to go up, but I just filmed that collab yesterday, so that's why it's on my mind today. Um, we have some glass acid beads. I'm just going to craft with those myself. Um, we have a little dingle earring. I have a earring subscription box, so I'll probably might I might see that one. Who knows? This one's really cool. These are glass beads. These are glass beads. That's a really nice earring. Okay, we have another little dingle earring. We 
have another earring. It's a vintage clippy. Okay, this looks like faux pearls, but I don't know what it is. It's definitely not gold. It's too brassy for gold. I'm not sure what this is. It has two oval things like that. So, not sure what that's for. We have a little butterfly earring. It's cute. Okay, lots of singles. Okay, we have some Mardi Gras beads. Craft. Oh, ooh, this is pretty. This is a watch band. Or just a link bracelet. It is marked. Um, off Zen. O-F-F Zen. Base metal? No. China? Citizen? Citizen base metal, I think it says. Can't tell. It is a little link, gold tone link bracelet with some rhinestones. That's actually pretty. Look that up. We have a hoop. Don't see any marks. This is a black gunmetal hoop. Oh, it looks like we have a pair of earrings. How fun. Little silver tone and shell earrings. That. Okay, this looks fancy. Is this a safety lock? This has a safety lock on it. And it says something on here. Um, it is 1 20th gold 10 karat gold filled something USA. And this is, oh, this just says 14K LNK Omega. So I think the chain is 10 karat gold filled and the watch is 14K. Is that right? That just says 14K gold LNK. And then down here, it says 120th 10K. So we might have gold. I'm not sure. Not sure this is real or not. I hope so. We have a button. It's a button. It's cracked. It's an earring. This could be sterling. I don't think it is though. I hope we don't get just a bunch of single earrings. That would be not the greatest. Okay, this is really cool. A little cloisonne. <clears throat> is that carved lapis? Oh wow, these are carved lapis beads. That's actually really cool. I hope we get the match to that. That's stunning. Okay. This kind of looks like gold. Kind of. Give me a keyword. Hmm, I'll have to test this. This could possibly be gold. Right there. Um, we have a vintage earring. Interesting. Okay. So far, lots of singles. Okay, we have this one. Oh, we have the match. First match. Okay. I know we said that's our second match. That is our second match. Ooh, this looks like sterling. Ooh, we have vintage sterling. We have a vintage sterling ring. Marked sterling. It is actually stamped sterling on the inside. I do not know if you'll be able to see that or not. I doubt it. Mark Sterling right there. I'm trying to use my second ring light to show you. Right there. Sterling. Yep, so we have Sterling. So this right here, this that made the box worth it, in my opinion. Vintage Sterling Silver Ring. Love it. Okay, and then we have this one that is also marked 925, but this is definitely fake. Um, that is definitely fake. There's copper coming through. 
That's a fake one. This one could be real. This is marked 925. Little dolphin ring. Okay, that is marked 925. Okay, awesome. Two I, I think are real and one I think is fake. We have a little pineapple lapel pen, hat pen. That's there. Put this over here. Okay. Okay, guys. I think this box is already paid for itself. Um, with those two sterling rings and possibly that watch. This one I don't see markings, but it could be. I don't think it is though, but never know. That's going to craft. It is copper is coming through that like crazy and it is broke. One of the strands is broken off. So it's craft. And honestly, I did not have high expectations when I bought this. I knew it was, you know, going to be like we have another one of these mood pendants charms. I knew we were doing a risk because it was only $15. So I did it anyways, but it has that standstill look to it. <clears throat> but I figured for $15 it was worth the risk they wanted the 50 cents for this and it is like a lighthouse or a castle a little badge ID charm and keychain that is look that up okay I like this little enamel earring that's pretty my nail will probably get that if I find a match Oh, look, we have the match the butterfly. Well, that could be the look. Okay, we have a little ear crawler. A little enamel. This is not marked. Okay. Well, this is a nice bracelet. Now, how does this close? Okay, it is broken. Yes, this is broken. Um, so that's unfortunate. That would have been cool. I'll see if I can try and fix it. Let's craft. This looks like sterling in gold. Yes, this is Mark 925. A little gold and silver. That's silver. Hopefully we get the match. I mean, now I wish I should have bought the other one. The other one just looked like it was all plastic beads. This looks like a, um, a scarf. Little clip charm thing. So that's over there. We have two of them. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. Okay, we have a little bow earring. Cute. Did we get the match to that one already? No, not yet. Hoping we get the matches. Oh, look, this matches that earring. Oh, uh, it's a toggle. Oh, but we met. This is a charm bracelet. Nope. Yeah, no. So we have two necklaces and a um, pair of earrings. And they are toggle butterfly necklaces. It's definitely sellable, I would say. It's actually pretty cool. We have two of them. I might I might list those. Probably not, but I might. This is broken. We got the match to these like gunmetal tone earrings. So got those. Um this necklace is broken. I just will have to take this strand off, but this isn't anything that's gonna get me high dollar anyway, so I may not fix it. We'll see. Um, we have some faux pearls. I have a, um, oh, this is marked Roman. So this is a Roman earring. RMN. Little faux pearl Roman costume. Oh, we got that match to this one though. This one's gorgeous. This will probably go in my earring subscription. These are glass crystal beads. Those are stunning. Those are good. I'm pretty picky with the earrings I put in my subscription boxes. I've had some really good feedback, so 
I am, it's a Sarah Cove, but it's broken, I believe. So I'm not sure what that goes to without the side. Not sure what this is to. So again, that's going to go off to the side. It's a pink cat's eye. Oh, excuse me, guys. That was a pink cat's eye on silver tone. Um, this is broken, but that looks like it could be an easy fix. Again, I just, I don't know if I would want to fix it. It's just a silver tone link. I'll probably just craft with it anyways. Okay, we have some earrings. This looks really cruddy. Yeah, this is just going to craft. That one's going to craft. This one, uh, we'll see if we get the match. Turn my brightness down again. There we go. Oh, these are like, can't, I don't know what this is. I think this is a headband. It looks like we have two of them. Three of them. No, this is a necklace. No, this, I think we have three headbands. I think that those are headbands. I'll make 99% sure those are headbands. Like the stretchy ones that you wear. So that's interesting. <clears throat> okay, this is actually really cool. So this is a necklace. It is a bit, not quite a bib. I don't know which way you wear it. I'm not sure if you wear it this way. But it's really cool. These are all little beads strands um i don't think i'll sell it though it may be it might, that might be something i would sell i don't know like i said i've become pretty picky with what i list just because i have so much i guess it's just a single earring we have a little president's award for educational excellence pen um I just have so much to list. I'm just getting pickier with what I list. This is, oh, I think you just tie it. A little faux pearl necklace. Nothing. I forgot what this is called. We have a earring. And then we have this bracelet. Really, really short necklace. Not sure. Craft. This looks like it could be sterling. This could be sterling. What's well, marked? Yes, mark 925. All right. So we have a little, little, the cord's discolored. So I'm going to have to, um, I'm just going to save the clasp and save it for something, some another piece that needs clasp. That's silver, so I'll take it. We have a little earring. It's kind of getting discolored. We have more of these charms. <laughs> we have a one yard of studded trim. Okay. We have another hairband, headband, hairband, I'm not sure what it is. Okay, we have a hair clip, a little barrette. Okay, these are glass beads, so these are nice. Either I will sell it or I will use the beads myself. Pretty. So far, the only winners are those earrings. Hopefully we get the matches too. And that watch that may or may not be gold. I'm not sure if that's silver or not. I think it's just enamel. We have that one. We have this one. This looks like gold stone. This is pretty. It's actually really pretty. This is probably on like gold filled chain or something. Yep, 120th gold filled chain. Um, so that's really pretty. This is a vintage gold stone pendant on a gold filled chain, probably pendant as well. I like that. That's awesome. I'll sell that. This 
is the bead store. And I think this is a 925 clasp. It is. It is a brand new 925 clasp. Awesome. I will craft with that. Okay, we have a match to that one. We have a match to this one. So we have the match to the faux pearl. Okay, so these ones are single. Nope, we have the match to this one. So, okay, so these ones we have matches to now. Awesome. Again, I only paid 15 bucks for this, so I didn't have my expectations too high. We have another one of these charms. Okay, what is this? These are sold at Sears. It is missing an elephant earring, but I will still sell these luck earrings. I'll take them off the tag or I'll put them up here and sell them. I'll probably just sell locally though. We have, this looks like clear quartz, maybe rose quartz too. We'll see if I can get it open. Some peridot and aqua. Um, this looks like it was a crafting project that went haywire. It is craft. But the beads might be good to save. We have a little baggie. Okay, this is the bluebird, the blue jay that I saw broken. However, I can put a little dot of glue there and that will go to my Nana. She will love this. She will absolutely love that. Um, this kind of has like the look of, um, oh, it's a bow tie, it's et cetera or something. Oh, it's Claire's, yeah. It's a little bow tie mesh necklace. I actually might list this as a very Y2K. I'll just have to fix it. Little shell, is that silver? I don't think it is. No. Little shell. Um, okay. I saw these pearls in the bag, so I'm hope I was hoping they would be real pearls. Oh, jingle bell. We have another 925 clasp. I like this one a lot better. It's a little heart. Little 925 clasp. Okay, I have oh this is a bookmark. Oh that's really cool. This is perfect. I can put a single earring here and That'd be awesome to craft with. Looks like we have another charm. Okay, I want to see these these pearls. I've been wanting to see this since I bought it. I think it's on sterling. It's not Mark Sterling, but it. I think it is. But these are pearls. I would definitely say they're real, but unfortunately, whoever strung this did not do the greatest of job. So, uh, I don't know. I'll probably just save it for the beads and the clasp. That's unfortunate. Oh, look, we have another bookmark. Awesome. I'll be able to make a couple bookmarks. I have a dust bag. Another dust bag. We have... Lulu Frost for Pop Sugar with nothing in it. Okay. We have 14 karat gold filled Turtle Cove earrings. Let's see if that's actually what it is. I don't see any marks on it. Uh, 14 gold filled on the post of one of them. So, okay. So that's what we do have that. They're pretty. Almost like a pinky purple moonstone almost. It's pretty. Okay, these are all little beads. Okay, we have an earring. I don't know if we got that one or not. Okay, I know we got that one. Okay, what is this? I honestly have no idea at this point. Oh, okay, it's a little rainstone necklace. My niece will love that. <laughs> Don't know what else to say about that. Um, this is the origami owl. So it is just the necklace, though. There's no charm thing on it. 
origami owl. Okay, this could be gold or gold filled. What does this say? Nothing. Okay. A little gold tone delicate strands. Okay, these are all little pearls. I'm gonna move that off to the side. Okay, this is a brooch that is broken in several places. For the most part, I can see why they were in here. Um, we have another 925, and this one has like a little marcasite clasp. So that's really cool, actually. I I love this. I would de I'm definitely going to hold on to these 925 clasps because nowadays they're really expensive, actually. It's a really interesting screw-on earring. Definitely vintage. So it's like a giraffe, like a zebra or something, or maybe a llama. Interesting. This looks like Monet. Oh. No, is this real though? I don't know if this is real, but this is marked 14K. Yeah, I don't think this is real. Oh, maybe. It's marked 14K. This is marked 14K, guys. Um, We will test that. Put that right there. Because <laughs> if it's real, that's awesome. I just don't think it is. We'll see. We have a little art glass earring. We have a button again. I hope that's real. Because if that's real, that is wow. <laughs> that is a wow. Okay, these are really interesting vintage half oval hoops. With a lot of tarnish though, unfortunately. Another one of these. This interesting not sure oh it goes like this okay it's broken but it's really cool it's a broken little vintage necklace it's cool but it's broken so oh we got the match to that like llama earring i don't think it was marked yeah it's no markings on it but we did get the match it's a lot of wear though. Hmm. Use Google Lens. Another little baggie. I thought this was cool. I could see this through the box. It looks like one of those cosmetic. Yeah. It's a little cosmetic little box. I don't know what they're really called. But it's Mother Pearl Inlay. You could clean this up. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Take out the makeup. And like clean it and you could actually put jewelry in there so that might be kind of fun to do make this a little jewelry box yeah yeah that's really cool i like that we have a watch face neon spark takara but it's just the watch face though oh we have a toggle and this one's gold now this one, I do not believe is real gold. This one's actually not even marked silver, so that's unfortunate. Okay, did we got? This was a thing I could see through the bag and I wasn't sure what it was and I still don't know what it is. Um, it looks like it was part of something else and it broke. So, not sure what I'm gonna do with it. have a gold tone earring we have this which we did not get the match to I do not believe no we did not okay and then we got one. okay this is everything that was in the this bag we have one little baggie to open that came in the bag as well we have a watch band but it's marked Italy 
What is marked Italy? Is this silver or something? I don't think so. No, but it is marked Italy, so that's interesting. I'll have to look that up. Okay, then we have a bobble necklace. You won't, you can't have a jewelry bag without something being big, you know, bobble. <laughs> bobble earrings, bobble necklace, bobble bracelet, but that's pretty. Vintage. I probably will not list it though. Okay, this is the last bit of it. This was this is everything. Okay, we have a little pen. Don't see any marks, but that's actually really it's actually really pretty little brooch. It's a very pretty little brooch. Stunning. Okay, then we have like a wire wrapped piece of glass. We have two of them in pink and blue. Interesting. We have a broken picture frame brooch. It's missing the thing that was on the inside. We have a bobby pen that's broken. This is oh, this is cool. This is a strawberry. Oh, this is marked. Is it marked? thought it was marked. It's not marked. I thought I saw a marking, but it was not a marking. But it's a strawberry tack pen. Little strawberries on it. So fun. We have this vintage something. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. It's craft. Um, and then we have a butterfly stick pen with no bottom. Then we have this. This might be sterling. This is 1928. But I don't know what it is. But it's 1928 because it has their embossing on the back. Okay, then we have this amber colored stone. And then we have a quartz watch face again. No watch band. Okay, so let's test the gold. Um, we did not get the match to these earrings. Okay, there were several earrings that I was hoping we'd get matches to. We did not get. That's okay. But let's test this. Let's test these. Okay, let's test the 18K. Let's test the silver. Okay, these two rings are silver. So these two rings paid for the box, $15. Okay, hey, I'm gonna pause you guys. I am gonna grab my 14K acid and you didn't see any of that. Um, there we go. Ring and ring, these two are silver. This one, no silver. But these two, yes. These two did test for silver. So awesome. Okay. This is marked 14K, guys. I thought so. I am learning, okay, how to spot gold. This is marked 14K. We'll see if it tests. But, oh, Lord, now I can't remember what was gold and what wasn't. Or what was, you know what I mean. I know I did that wrong. Yeah, so the 10 carat one disappeared immediately. Um, um, let's let it sit. This necklace is holding. These gold beads are holding. I thought it was fake. I really thought it was fake. I thought it was just gold plated. Um, I really thought this was fake. Okay, guys, we struck gold. We struck gold. 
This is testing as gold. Um, where's my scale? <laughs> I'm gonna pause you guys and grab my scale. All right, guys, I could not find my shipping scale, but I found my food scale. So <laughs> we're gonna go to grams. Okay, and this bracelet and the earring. Hold on, let's reset this. Let's do ounces. This earring isn't changing at all. It's 14 grams, it says, of gold. Not sure what that equals out to. This is a, this is heavy. I thought this would be more. Um, Yeah, that's about 14. This is weighing nothing. It's very lightweight. But that's showing up as 14 grams of gold. Now, I don't know what the current gold price is. But, yeah, if it's real. These, I still have very strong doubts on. But yeah, okay, 14 karat gold, guys, and a $15 Salvation Army jar. And two rings. So um, let's see on silver wise. That's 10 grams, and then we had that single. We had something else that was silver. That's 12 grams of scrap silver right there. If I were to scrap it, I'm not. Um, it's worth way more. You know, so as a, so as sellable, but yeah. Okay. I am very, very happy <laughs> with this box. Very, very happy. Um, that's it guys. Um, let me know guys. Do you think this is like, wow. Like, let me know in the comments. Have you guys gotten, have you guys ever, were able, have you guys, <laughs> I'm tongue tied guys. I'm still in shock. Um, have you guys been able to get Salvation Army jars? Um, does your stores sell jewelry? My store went about two years without selling any jewelry. Um, none whatsoever. It was about two, two and a half years. Then 2020 or 2021, they started bringing the jewelry back out. Um, I was able to get my hands on one, one jar last summer or fall can't remember at this point um and it was okay i got some 925 earrings out of it um and that was the only one i've seen since that was like six months ago so these are this is the first one i have been able to get in you know a long time so there is faith guys like there is a chance that you can you know strike gold and silver on a 15 dollar bag <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I have to go to bed. It's midnight, Um, but I can't wait to see what I get in the next box. And I can't wait to see your comments. Bye, guys.